All right. So the Vancouver Canucks have just called up a few players from the Utica Comets, and it's coming at some unfortunate news because the Vancouver Canucks have Furlan. He's out. They have Roussel, who is out. They had Sutter, who left the game last night, and they had Beagle, who didn't play last night either. So... The Vancouver Canucks were in a position where they needed to make some moves, they needed to get some acquisitions, they needed to call up some guys. And they did that from the Utica Comets here. Check it out. It's Zach McEwen and Tyler Grayovac. The two newest additions to the Vancouver Canucks on their roster this season. Obviously, they're not new pieces in the organization, but they are players who haven't seen NHL ice yet. And they're going to probably get that going forward into the foreseeable future. Now, the Utica Comets are in a position where they actually lost a whole bunch of games in a row, and they're not nearly as dominant on the score sheet as they were to start off the season. So having a hit like this with Grayovac getting out and McEwen getting out, it doesn't look like the best scenario for Utica, especially with Reed Boucher not playing as well. They just lost Berchi too for, you know, obvious reasons. But the Comets are kind of taking a little bit of a hit here especially with the production that at least one of them have been producing at. Just to go over a quick little profile, Zach McEwen had 8 points in 13 Utica Comets games. Meanwhile, Grayovac is not so hot 1 point in 6 games before getting called up today. And now these two most likely will slot into the lineup. We talked about Tyler Grayovac back when he was acquired by the Vancouver Canucks in free agency. He's a guy who has played in the NHL before. He's had his fair share of NHL action split between the Wild and the Capitals. Zach McEwen is a guy who hasn't actually played all too much. He had four NHL games last year. He got an assist, but for the most part, Zach McEwen has been on the more underrated, low-key side of things because he was an undrafted QMJHL guy who signed with the Vancouver Canucks once he finished up his junior career. And he's been pretty solid throughout his AHL and NHL days too. Six foot three, 191 centimeters, 205 pounds. For a 23-year-old guy, he's a big frame, and he's a guy who uses his frame very well. He's a power forward at heart, and he's been exhibiting that style throughout his entire playing career. So having another chance to see that in the NHL is definitely something that I'm going to be looking forward to because I, for one, am a believer in the big guy. And I know a lot of other people are big believers in McEwen as well. He's got a good fan base for him and a good load of support from Canucks fans, from Comets fans, etc. So everybody's going to be looking forward to seeing what Zach McEwen will be able to do with the Canucks. And Tyler Grayovac is a guy whose reputation also kind of has that same style. Grayovac is six foot five. He's 26 years old and he's 207 pounds. Grayovac is actually a center, whereas McEwen is primarily played on the wing. So Grayovac has a little bit more of that profile that might replace a Brandon Sutter if need be or a Jay Beagle if need be. But yeah, 26 years old, he's not young. Sure, the room to grow is definitely there, but the room to grow definitely isn't as strong as it would be for an even younger player. Because really, when it comes down to it, I'd rather see Gray Ovac on this team. I'd rather see Zach McEwen on this team than see a guy like Louis Erickson, etc. I want to see what they're going to be able to do. Let's see what the younger guys can do. I think that's probably the biggest thing that we're going to take a look at when it comes to the call-ups of McEwen and Gray Ovac. Sure, Brandon Sutter and Beagle and all them, they might not be out for a long time, but... Having one or two games of NHL experience for these younger guys definitely wouldn't hurt. And for guys who bring bigger bodies and who bring skill sets that may not necessarily be on the team right now, it's definitely a direction that I'd be willing to explore in this season. So Zach McEwen and Justin Bailey, folks, these are your two Vancouver Canucks call-ups, the newest Vancouver Canucks. I'd be looking forward to seeing what they're going to be doing, but they've been proficient AHL scorers with the Utica Comets. We just don't know how that's going to translate in the NHL, if it's going to translate at all. Hopefully it does, but hopefully you enjoyed this video as well. Social Dice Rose 9 and bye.